Our, our bodies rise to the occasion when there is a need, right? The other thing is, like, I, I seldom get sick, you know, and it's probably because I think that you know, my wife has health challenges, and I think that one of the reasons I don't get sick is because I can't afford to get sick. Because the, the household and everything kind of needs me to be there. So, again, there's vessels, vessels about giving life, there's, you know, the breasts, of course, there's the homage to mommies and the bellies, and then there's the, 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 the vigilant, again, these are also stoppers. So this idea that mom is omnipresent. <laughs> so I'm probably going to talk about the, the one or two more pieces, and then maybe we'll open it up for questions. I don't know. If I'm, um, so, uh, but for me, a lot of times what I do is I, I just go into the studio and I work and I allow things to kind of come out of the work. So, uh, so this, this was one, one piece that came from a series and I made three of them and I, one of them broke and I got tired of working on that series, but then while I was working on these, I made three of them and one of them fell and it became this. And while I was trying to save this one, the fourth one I intended to make came this. So this is like half of what this was going to be. And you know, you just kind of find that these things are, are kind of perpetually informing each other. But the other thing that's important to me as a, as a sculptor with a pottery background is, uh, is how we think about objects in proximity to our bodies and how we think about objects in proximity to our bodies and how we relate those objects to other people. So if I'm passing you a teacup, or I'm passing you the sugar bowl, or I'm passing you the salad bowl, you know, so you can take it down the line or Sunday dinner. Like how do these things inform how we think about objects in proximity to our own bodies? And while that's something that's so important to ceramics and pottery and the, uh, the logistics of function, it, it, it speaks to me to a, a much bigger set of questions about relatability um, not only to us and objects, but to how we extend. So, um, so okay. and there are many ways of doing it. I always say when I teach ceramics, uh, functional pottery, which I love, I say, you know, when, when we engage a mug, it should, it should be as intimate as, as a kiss. Like literally, there's, there's a, a task that you are charged with when you're making an object that engages a part of the body where so many senses meet that it needs to be real. It can't, it's like you don't want to kiss somebody with chat lips, I don't know. You don't want to kiss somebody with an awkward kiss, right? It's, it has to be right. So if you're gonna be drinking something, if you want that, you want to have a, an object that is receptive to you, and you want to be receptive to that object. So there's ergonomics at play, there's sensuality at play, there are a lot of things to consider. So when I, when I make objects, I think about that. So. A kiss is different than a, than a welcoming hug. Sometimes hugs can be really, really aggressive. Like I, I just see my nephews, I hadn't seen them in four years, get over here, it's like giant, <laughs> aggressive bear hugs. These guys are huge. Um, it's, it's intimate, but you know, they're just slapping, and it's just like, right? And how does that compare to you greeting, you know, a little toddler, right? Very different. So, so objects like this, to me, you know, speak to that. Where it's a sculpture, that is a vessel that is very much about intimacy. You know, and you know, what is what is in that in that what could be in this particular. So when I teach pottery, I, I talk to them about the range of things. This might be the table side condom jar. I don't I don't know. But that particular object would necessitate a very specific kind of volume, right? So an object designed to capacitate three condoms would be a little different than an object designed to capacitate three pounds of oatmeal, right? And, and to think about something designed for the counter versus something designed to be passed, 
right? Those are very different things. So there's a floor model television is a little different than a laptop, right? So we think about space, we think about how objects relate to our own bodies, and to me, that's, that's why I feel privileged to have that more conventional ceramics background, because I think it offers a unique window into how I, uh, I kind of merge and merge all these influences to inform my work. So I didn't have an outline, and uh, I just kind of randomly talked, and I had no idea until I started what I was going to talk about. So um, there are two other short things that I want to make mention of. Um, so I, I said that I started off like this, working in this way, and in 2014, I got a sabbatical. And I was fortunate to uh, win this really prestigious artist residency at the John Michael Kohler Art Center. And some of you may be familiar with Kohler Plumbing. Um, I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, to say like the toilets, the urinals, right? <laughs> so, yes. Well, uh, the, the short of it is uh, for the last 60 years, Kohler has hosted uh, a number of artists each year in, the, in their factory. And, and thanks to Ruth Kohler, who's like the heiress and granddaughter of John Michael Kohler, um, she, she donated their mansion to the Art Center, and then she created a, a connection with their factory to where we're, we're able to go in there and essentially use the facility to create our own work. And, and my proposal was specifically about um, two things. One, I had this theory that if I slip cast it as opposed to hand making these things on a larger scale, I would really be able to push the idea of repetition. And also, uh, these are low fire earthenware clay, which are comparatively much more uh, fragile and porous than vitreous china that they use in, at the color of the factory. And the idea that if these things are rubbing against each other, you know, I can I can make pieces that are a lot more complicated, and they would be uh, dense and stable. And also, I can expand my palette. At that time, most of the work was kind of you know there's this kind of satin burnished look, and it was also uh, you know smoke. I was using a lot of smoke, and I wanted to to, to start to include something that was a little bit more vibrant. So I started casting colored clays there. And that started a very different uh, trajectory for me. And these are pieces, actually, molds that I still use. These are molds that I made in 2014, although the pieces are from this year or last year, I can't remember. Um, and I'm literally coloring the clay before I pour it into the mold. And in 2017, I was fortunate to receive um, acceptance into a residency here at the Pittsburgh Glass Center. And, and it was interesting because everything that I learned at Kohler perfectly prepared me for the residency at, uh, at the Pittsburgh Glass Center. Because now I'm going from working with earthenware beads that are handmade, to casting clay beads that are much denser, to now working with glass that is a lot more um, it's, it's kind of surprising to say, but because these are solid cast glass, they're a lot denser and a lot heavier and a lot stronger. So the engineering of these pieces has, has changed significantly in the last uh, six or seven years. So now they're reinforced with steel, and as a result of that, the forms are rigid. It used to be like, okay, where I'm going to hang this, and depending on where you put the two points, determines how it hangs, like the clasp, if you will. So now, when this comes out of the crate, it looks just like this. So there's not really as much of a, a learning curve for how to display it. Um, so, so I wanted to make sure I added that. So there are a couple of pieces that, that are from the uh, glass center residency that have glass elements, at least three pieces here, four pieces here. And then um, while these weren't made at the color, these are a continuation of the same series. 
that started in 14. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Carbon 